fuck, man. What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Today I'm gonna show you how to use mud minnows for bait. This is a super simple way to catch some solid fish, especially in our colder months when you need to work your bait really slow. You can work these guys along the bottom really slow on a jig head and it, they're gonna put a lot of action themselves, but you still get a really slow retrieve. So this is a great way to find some solid fish in our colder months. So I'm just gonna take a standard jig head this is uh, actually a Strike King. This is actually all I got right now, and that's why I'm using the Strike King jig head. But um, here's our mud minnow here, just a little itty bitty minnow. And we're gonna hook them through the head, through the lips really. And if you look underneath them, there's a slit. And we're gonna take that hook point, and we're gonna put it in that slit, and we're gonna drag it forward. And once it stops, we know we're ready to pop it through, and all we're gonna do is pop that right through his nose, just like that and you're ready to fish. Super simple, you just throw it out there and just slowly just bob it across the bottom back to you. You can even let it sit for a period of time. I've had plenty of fish just pick this up off the bottom. A great way to get some fish. Let's see what we can get today. Nice, he picked it up, started running to the side with it. And I couldn't get a hook set, I had to kind of reel for a second. Nice. Solid redfish too. Solid redfish guys. This is a good one. He's uh, 27 inches, ate the mud minnow, just barely moving that thing across the bottom and he picked it up. Solid fish. Let's get this guy back in. There he goes. All right guys, so I can see redfish coming up in the shallows over here. It's really shallow already where I'm at. I'm gonna have a hard time getting to him, but we got an incoming tide. So I'm just gonna kinda work my way in here as I can and uh, try to pick me off a couple of redfish. Bunch of shells over there already. I'm just gonna try to bob it right through those shells though. <laughs> oh, there's one. Nice, that's a good fish. Elephants eat peanuts, man. This is a little itty bitty mud minnow. And he want, ooh. This is a good one. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> My gosh. He ain't giving up. Let's try to get him in the net now. Oh, he's wanting to go. Oh yeah, that's a solid fish. Oh, come on, get in here, buddy. Oh. Oh, look at that. He's about to break the net. That's a solid fish. Look at that guy. That's a solid redfish, 32 inch redfish on the mud minnow. You can't beat that, man. That is a good redfish. I almost didn't think it was a redfish at first. This guy really put on a battle, but uh, let's get this big, big guy back in the water. Oh. Oh, he's ready. There he goes, awesome. Oh, nice. <laughs> Man, you gotta love it. Another solid redfish too. Look at 
Look at all of them over there. Bunch of them. I think we're scaring them by fighting this guy. So let's uh, let's get this guy in the net. Oh, maybe not. Gosh, another solid one. There he is, guys. 27. This is another solid fish, man. A lot of fun. But uh, let's get this one back in, see if we can get another one. Man. You can't beat this. Come on back over here. Nice. Another solid redfish, man. There we go, guys. Solid 25 incher. Having a good old time. Let's get this one back in and see if we can get another one. <laughs> it's a smaller one, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, he's a little bit smaller. There he is. Littler guy, but hey, still fun, man. On the mud minnows. <laughs> Let's get this guy back in. So as you can see, mud minnows on a jig head is an awesome way to get some solid fish in our colder months. Basically, all that you're gonna do is cast that mud minnow out there, let it sit for five to 10 seconds at a time on the bottom, and in between those pauses, you're just gonna move the mud minnow roughly 12 inches closer to you. And if there's any redfish, snook, flounder, trout, or many other fish in the area, they're gonna come pick up that mud minnow because he's gonna continuously sit there on the bottom kicking his tail, trying to get off of that jig head. And uh, it just does a lot of the work for you. It just kicks on the bottom, but you also get to cover water and continuously cast and retrieve and work a shoreline. And that's why I believe that this can be a great way for a live bait fisherman to move over to artificials because you're gonna learn how to cover water and cast and retrieve working a shoreline, but your retrieve isn't going to be as important because that mud minnow is gonna kick down there on the bottom and do a lot of the work for you. Now, mud minnows can work great in many different areas. I've caught lots of fish around docks. I've caught them on mud flats. I've caught them at jetties, fishing the jetty rocks, and so much more, but I really like to use them around tidal creeks, around things like oyster bars and grass, like I was fishing in this video today. And mud minnows are also very tough baits when compared to many other live baits out there. That's why I choose to use mud minnows on a jig head because they are just super tough. They're gonna live for a very long time and they're gonna live through you constantly casting and retrieving them out there on the bottom. But hey guys, if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the only online fishing club that guarantees that you will catch more fish while saving money on everything that you need to do so. If you want to learn more, visit saltstrong.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys soon.